the Christian Apocrypha. The Christian Apocrypha is a large variety of biblical books that never made it into canon. Even though they were not part of the Bible, they prevailed and were circulated and were believed by many Christian denominations back in the biblical days. The Gospel of Thomas was found in what's called the Nag Hammadi Library, which is 14 volumes consisting of 52 books. The Gospel of Thomas is not a narrative or stories like the other Gospels are. It is a list of 114 sayings by Jesus. You would think you'd hear more from Christians because they are all about the New Testament. Or the Dead Sea Scrolls are all about the Old Testament. <clears throat> So you think there'd be a lot of attention paid by Christians, but you almost never hear of it. And let me tell you why. Thomas was one of the apostles. And the word Thomas in Hebrew means twin. So many scholars think that the author of the Gospel of Thomas was Jesus' twin brother. Many scholars believe that it has more credibility than Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. They were the kind of things that they didn't like to have read in church and therefore had no reason to copy them. The book of Thomas begins by playing on Thomas being Jesus' twin brother. You ought to know everything because you're the twin of Jesus. And think about the great saying, know thyself, quotes that. Uh, well, if you know yourself, you know Jesus because you are his twin. It's a list of 114 sayings by Jesus. And of the 114, there's two in there that are just dynamite with respect to the Christian church. And the first with respect to the Roman Catholic church. The disciple of Jesus asked this question, when you're gone, who will succeed you? And his answer was, my brother James. We have historical documentation that James started the church in Jerusalem and then later was martyred. This is a lot different from Matthew, where it says, uh, Thou art Peter, and on this rock you will build my church, and here's the keys, the keys of the kingdom, um, which started the succession of the papacy. You can see why the Roman Catholic Church doesn't want to be thinking that Jesus wanted his brother to succeed him, not Peter. The part that the Catholics and the Protestants wish were not there was when they asked Jesus, Lord, when will the kingdom come? Jesus speaks frequently throughout the gospel about the kingdom. The purpose of a church is redemption. If you followed the church's suggestions, you get a chance to go to heaven. But if the kingdom is here now, what good is the church?